Alright guys, welcome back to my let's play of Blackwell Legacy, where we left off. We got wrangled in to become a reporter to, you know, investigate, I wouldn't say investigate, but do a story about a suicide that happened at a college. Um, so we're just talking to the roommate, um, so let's get back into that and get talking with her. Yeah? So let's start from the top. Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. Okay, how about this one? Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. Uh, okay, for, yeah, photograph. Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. Oh, fine. Adrian, yes. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it, and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Okay. Uh, Kelly? Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Okay, uh, yeah. She slept all night. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. Okay, and I guess studied all day, according to Kelly. So Joanne was a good student. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Jeez, Louise, this woman is, you know, fantastic. Um, that's it. No, if Thanks I'm... for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. If I remember correct, um... I think it's notes. No. There's a way of combining them. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, when I stopped recording, I had to save, and it brought up the whole, you can combine your clues, so let's see what happens All here. All I know about Joanne is that she was an NYU student who killed herself. Okay, let's try this one here. I don't see what one has to do with the other. Nothing, okay. Um, maybe this one and this one? If I were planning to kill myself, would I sleep soundly at night? I don't know if I could. Um, Joanne seemed to be a hard-working student. Maybe the pressure got to her. Maybe Kelly... no. Uh, Kelly Adrian? Adrian lives a few doors down from Joanne in the NYU dorm. He's the resident assistant for the floor. Basically they say I need to combine um, clues. So Joanne in a photograph? My boss asked me to find a photograph of Joanne to put it in the paper. Okay, no, um... That makes no sense. I don't know either. Maybe these two? Adrian lives a few- No, um... Kelly told me that Joanne slept soundly all night. According to Kelly, Jo- It would appear that Joanne was a pretty good student, or at least a hard worker. Okay, we did that one. How about that one? Joanne and Kelly were roommates at NYU. That's all I really know about them. Okay, what about... Adrian lives a few doors down from Joanne. No, how about photograph? My boss- Oh yeah, okay, that and that. All I know about Joanne is that she- Kelly told me that Joanne's- Hmm, no, I don't- no connection. Okay, photograph. Maybe there's a connection, but I can't see it. Maybe the suicide. Joanne seemed to be a hard-working student. Maybe the pressure got to her. Okay... It would appear that Joanne was- or at least- Kelly told me that Joanne slept sound- That makes no sense. I don't see what- Maybe I'm supposed to go back to the gentleman and talk to him. Let's go back there. To the RA and see what I can do here. There's no uh, RA right, right there. Okay. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine. Yeah. Is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Um. Yeah, these ones. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. Okay, there we go. Was Joanne a good student? I don't think she had any problems. 
But of course, the pressure can get to anybody. Okay, yeah, Kelly. What can you tell me about Joanne's roommate? Kelly? Have you met her? Yes. Quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her by that. She's the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. Really? Yep, she's pre-med. Okay, um... Yeah, where does she sleep? Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Okay, this is where the combination thing would come in. Well, okay. that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go to our notes and let's combine uh, this one and this one. Wait a minute. Something isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. Yes, she definitely did. All right, so let's go bug her now and get our lead here. Yeah? You lied to me, woman. <gasps> your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yes, yeah, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... No, oh, screw it. You wanna talk? Fine. What do you want to know? Thank you, holy crap, Joanne, let's start from the top again. So what was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which is kind of cool, I guess. She was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Just a typical college kid, acted just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. Okay, uh, her suicide. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Well, no. Although, the last few weeks she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I'd been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? No, and I do like the fact her voice has toned the fuck down. Like, she doesn't sound as bitchy as she did earlier. I guess because we kind of cracked her? But let's continue. I could really use a photo of Joanne, if you have one. Hmm. Alright, just a sec. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Joanne's the girl on the left. Thanks. Okay, uh, Adrian. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it. It's just the way it should- Okay, we know about that. Kelly, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Okay, so we're done with her. Let's close this up and get the hell out of here. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay, let's go get this photo. Okay, Joanne was the one on the left. Okay. I don't want to ruin the picture. Okay, well, let's look at her. According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. Who's that? I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. I assume that this is a- Okay, so maybe we can show this to the RA and maybe get an idea of who they are. Maybe we can talk to them and maybe figure out if something was wrong with them? Well, let's see how this goes. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions? Yeah. I suppose. What do you want? Guys, crump, grumpy, grumpy, grumpy. Uh, I guess we can't show the well, picture. Well, that's thanks for- Just No, I guess I can't. Okay, well, I guess that's it. Let's get the heck out of here. Ugh. This is getting worse. At least I have enough for the story now. I better get home. Okay, let's go home. Uh, we can go to the hospital. You know, she really should. She's getting these migraines. Just, just saying. Um, this is getting bad. You said that earlier. Oh my god. This really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. Okay, or you could just go to bed, you know? I'm just saying, but okay. Uh, research? Joanne. 
No, I can't find any information about Joanne. Suicide? No mention of Joanne's suicide yet. If it just happened this morning, I doubt that anyone would have published it yet. Adrian? Nope, nope. Kelly? No, no information about Kelly. Okay, so nothing there. Uh, I guess we'll do some- write our article. Let's just be productive. Right, no more interruptions. Done. Article's finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. No. What? I need fresh air. I've got to get out of here. Anybody knows the picture glowy glowy, shiny shiny right there? I guess we need to get out of here, so we'll get the hell out of here. I have no idea where we're going. Maybe we're supposed to go here? I don't know. Come in! Okay. Hello, Rosa. Come in, come in. Don't mind the pooch, he's harmless. Hi, Moti. Oh, he's adorable. Come here, boy. Aw, oh, greet the pooch. Hi. Hi, um, dog. His name is Moti. Right. Moti. See ya. Do we not get a picture? Oh, where's he going? Someone wants a treat, eh? Go get it. Aw. Oh, he's adorable. Oh, oh is he going to bed? Oh, let's That's go That's Nishanti's him. dog. Okay, what can we do here? Uh, I guess just talk to her. Yeah, let's talk to her. Uh, yeah, make small talk. Why not? So, um, how are you? Oh, I'm just fine. Right, Moti? Aren't we just fine? Aww. Uh, yeah, thank her again. Thanks again for helping me out earlier. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it weren't for you. Oh, didn't you hear? The strike's over. Really? It only lasted a few hours according to the report on the radio. I suppose that's irony. I suppose so. That's funny. Alright, the flute! So, you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play the flute. It's called a bansuri. What about you? Do you play an instrument? Me? No, I can hardly play the kazoo. Let's see. You strike me as being creatively inclined. Are you a painter? A writer? Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Perhaps I will the next time I see it. Okay, cool. Um, interesting instrument. Uh, the dog. Let's talk about Moti. Oh, he's so adorable. Oh, yeah, Pooty's so cute. That dog is adorable. Moti? He's spoiled rotten, but he's good company. He's taken quite a shine to you, that's for sure. Huh. Yeah. Usually I'm not good with animals. You never had a childhood pet? A pet? No, I had a teddy bear. <laughs> well, you probably had the right idea. Moti's a little thing, but you wouldn't know it from the amount he eats. Aww. He's very active, it seems. Yes, that probably explains it. See that box of biscuits? I buy a new one every two days. Moti doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. <laughs> Feel free to give him one if you like. Aw, oh, he's oh, cute, a cute little black hole. That's adorable. You have a very nice apartment. Thank you. A bit small, but that's New York for you. Okay. I've never been to New York. I have no idea. Uh, neighbors. You seem very friendly with the people in this building. Well, I didn't grow up here. I didn't realize it was taboo to chat with neighbors. Well, it's not taboo exactly. It's just... Oh, I know. Just one of those unspoken things. I've found that most people are pretty friendly, though, once you take the first step. People have their defenses up most of the time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I do. The park, sure. Why do you play the flute in the park? It's a place to go, I suppose. I was walking there one day, and I had the bansuri with me, so I started playing. Next thing I knew, I had a bunch of people around me. So I go there as often as I can now. It gets me out of this stuffy apartment. And I admit, I like the attention. 
Plus, Moti loves the dog run there. Well, he did until they closed it down. So why did they close it down? Why did they close down the dog run? It seemed okay to me. Nobody really knows. It started about a week ago. Dogs started howling, running around like maniacs, acting strange. Some even hurled themselves at the fence door trying to get out. They say it's some kind of high-frequency wave that's caused by electric cables or something. Some high-pitched sound that the dogs can hear, but we can't. But I know better. You know better? Definitely. I noticed these things. I could tell that things weren't quite right. Something in the air. It's not a high-pitched noise. That would only cause a dog pain. This was more than pain. The dogs were scared. What was there to be scared of? I have no idea. But I know what I sensed, just like you did. Me? You sensed it. Don't think I didn't notice. I didn't sense anything. Well, perhaps. Maybe I'm just spouting nonsense. Okay. Well, yeah, that scream dog is like, wanting to get the f hell out of there. Ah, uh, let's feed Moti. Let's, let's spoil the cute little black hole. Could I try feeding the dog? Sure. Here, take one. I have plenty. Go ahead and feed him. He's always hungry. Okay, and, uh, yeah. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Uh, how do I feed him? I guess I caught talk to him? Come on, boy. Offer a treat. There we go. Um, what do I do now? Just say, go get it. He'll do the rest. Go get it. See ya. Aww. Someone wants a treat, eh? Go get it. Oh my god. That dog, granted he's skinny as heck, that must go through him and then straight out into the pooper. Anyway, I guess we're done here. She says she wanted air. I don't know what... where to go. Maybe... back in her house now? Who knows? What? is happening it's gone the pain it's gone that was strange it was like like what is that the photo something is different about it i almost don't want to look but No, no, no. I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. Auntie's death, work, life. I just need a rest, that's all. do that so Griff long time no see how's tricks right thought as much black willed dames always sleeping you're always sleeping and I'm always watching yep that's me the eternal chump mmm it's about time. Hey, nap time Nelly. Wake up. What? Ahem. <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, you shut up. You're going to listen. 
and you're gonna listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No! Damn you, you know my name, now say it! You're... Yes? You're... Joey? Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I... Don't worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. Um... Okay. So that explains the spooky ghost on the cover. Okay, so apparently this is a family... Ghost pet? A family ghost pet, you know? Yeah, yeah, I would say that. So apparently... He's like, he's a parrot. He is the ghost parrot. The parrot that never dies, and it gets inherited through family members every time they pass away. Okay, okay, that... That, that makes sense now. Um, accepting, unaccepting, confrontational. Let's go accepting. Let's try that. You really exist. Oh yes. Live and in person. Although I'm not really alive. And I'm not sure if I can still call myself a person anymore. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone. And I'm the family spirit guide. What? Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. I'm passed down from one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. Okay, so yeah, essentially he's a parrot. <laughs> a ghost parrot. Anywho, uh, question is origins. Reform your sanity. Let's go this one. Where did you come from? That's a long, long story, dollface. And we've got more important things to do. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. It took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah. You felt sick to your stomach. I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? Uh... The park. Yeah, it was the park, as Nshanti noticed. You mean... The dog run? Yeah. That's where we've gotta go. What, right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. Okay, so... Okay. Um, also, hi, hi Crispin. I see you are now a ghost and not a robot. Anywho, um, whiny response. Oh, let's go overwhelmed. I kind of want to go whiny. That'd be kind of amusing. Um, maybe overwhelmed. She would, yeah, maybe she'd be overwhelmed. I kind of want to go whiny, but let's go that one. This is all too much. I've got to sleep on this. Sorry, kiddo. We got to go now. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? Was that because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid, not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? Ah, uh, Confusion. Maybe I am going crazy. Maybe I'd prefer going crazy. Sorry, sugar, you're totally sane. Deal with it. <laughs> okay, okay, disbelieve. I can't believe this is happening. Believe it. Fine, let's go. That's the spirit. After you. That was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yep, and hear me. So keep your voice low. Oh yeah, this is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything. Can we go? Come on, this way. Hey, wait! Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules, whatever they are. Now look inside there. 
and look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. Oh, interesting. Wait, I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. Now watch and learn. Why so down, beautiful? Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Um... What's glip? I don't know what glip is. Let's be charming. So charming. Come on, it's freaking Crispin the ghostly robot. Even though it's not, but it's Joey. We gotta call him Joey now and not Crispin. But let's be charming. Hey, don't be like that. If there's one thing I hate, it's seeing a pretty girl cry. Oh, okay. Uh, let her be? Let her be. It's alright, take your time. They all run. It's so hard to hold on. It's me. It's me, they won't stop. Uh, calm her down, calm her down. Shh. Relax. Slow down and tell me everything. I'm here to help. 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 He wants me to help him. But I want to help them. Don't they know that? Help who? Can't. Can't. They run away. We won't run away. No. No, we're sick! He poisoned us! Got into our head and poisoned us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you! Run! Run away like all the others! Uh, stand your ground, why not? Not a chance. I'm staying right here. You're... You're him. He's, He's the only the one who won't go, go away. away! Who? Him! Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave. All right. We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out, and we'll be back. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands. Haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No. No. I really should go to bed. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love of Pete. Uh, what an odd dream. Good morning, Bright Eyes. Uh, you're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Has anybody told you that you snore? Okay. So, for the love of Pete, I do enjoy that. Um, let's, 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 let's get suspicious. Why are you watching me sleep? Have you been here all night? Where else am I going to go? I can't leave your side. Doesn't matter if you're asleep or not. So this is going to be my life from now on? Pretty much, yeah. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life. That's how it works, as far as I can tell. Great. Just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last 40 years? Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She... made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? What's with the third degree? Uh, it's good to know. Uh, search your rights, yes. I have a right to know. No, you want to know. There's a difference. I don't have to tell you squat. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost? Fine. I'm a medium? Fine. My whole life is turned upside down? Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. You've accepted it, you say? So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. 
Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. Okay, uh, let's be positive. Why not? Yes. Good. Maybe there's hope after all. So what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Here, take a hold of this. I can touch it? Yeah, the only part of me you can touch, unfortunately. It kind of tingles. What is it? The stuff of life. Or death. I've never quite worked it out. What now? Now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay. Oh my god. Where have you taken me? Relax. Take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Out there, in the distance, the next world. The next plane of existence. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. It's all out there. How did we get here? We're inside your head. You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place. Forcing its way into your mind. Weird. Okay. So she has a giant black hole in her head, giant infinity of space beyond in her head, the afterlife, I guess. Inquire about your head, sure. Ask about safety. Ooh, I like that one. Is that dangerous? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point, or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place, and then send them on their merry way. That's it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... departure before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? Uh, yes we do. We, we do dig. We totally dig of the dug. I think so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. Okay, before we ask, um, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying my Let's Play of the Blackwell Legacy. As usual, do let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, check out my other point-and-click adventure games, all that fun jazz. And uh, with that, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you next episode. Bye!